Well, can you tell us about Experimental Unison? Oh, wow. Uh, that was my first ever band. Um, I was a senior in high school, and um, I had been playing like acoustic guitar with one of my friends, uh, Justin, and we were just like, maybe we should start a band and get a couple guys, and uh, so that's what we did, and it was pretty horrible. <laughs> But we play. We played a few shows. I think we played three shows, and we played a birthday party, um, and then we we graduated. And some people were wanting to do college, and others weren't really wanting to take it seriously. And I was pretty much the only one in the band who who wanted to pursue music. And I I am the only one who pursued music out of that. But yeah, it was my very my very first ever band. And meanwhile, you're working as a school janitor. Uh, I, I was before that, uh, like probably, I'm trying to think of what grade I was in, maybe 8th, 7th grade, 8th grade, freshman year, something like that. Before, before I could drive, uh, I worked at my school as a janitor to help pay the school bill um, and, and make a little bit extra cash. Um, yeah, that was a pretty, pretty bad, pretty bad uh, job, to say the least. When did you realize that the NBA wasn't for you? Um, I realized NBA wasn't for me. It was, I mean, I guess in the back of my mind, I probably assumed it was never going to happen, but, um, <laughs> when I got, I got a scholarship to go play basketball and I ended up turning it down, turning down that school. And so the moment I decided I wasn't going to go there, I knew that I had no future with, with, uh, sports, but I mean, I still love sports to this day. I still play and I enjoy it a lot. Um, but yeah. Probably, it's probably 19 years old, and I was like, no, I'm just not going to ever pursue this. So put all my eggs in one basket and started pursuing music full time. So. And then you really could relocated to Oceanside. Yeah, um, in March of 2007, or not March of 2007, sometime, May of 2007, uh, I got in my car and I drove cross country from Ohio to California. And back in the MySpace days, I found that uh, a band called In Fear and Faith was looking for a singer. I, I went, I drove down, I tried out, and a week later, I moved in with the guys, and, and we were a band, and started touring, and made a CD. And, did the Voyage EP? Yep, did the Voyage EP in June, um, I think June or July of 07, and um, yeah, man. It's been, it's been a while, uh, it's cool to talk about because I haven't really, nobody ever really asked me about anything before the word alive usually, so it's, it's funny thinking back to those times, it's been like five years. And not so long after you ended up going to Arizona, um, playing bass for Greeley Estates. Yep, yeah, I, uh, I had left in fear and faith and I didn't really know what I was going to do, um, but I, I was good friends with their manager. Um, at that point and he had had me trying out for some different bands and, and Greeley Estates were in town shooting a music video at the time and we, we met up I got along with them I heard their new record I thought it was awesome and they pretty much sold me they were they were like you'll be able to sing a lot of 